So are you ready to begin the next experiment? For our next experiment, you will need a glass of water, some food dye, which is optional. I thought I could make, some, make things colorful, so I'm using pink colored food dye here and some straws. So very simple things we need, just a glass of water, some straws and food dye which is optional. So let's get started. So I'm adding the food dye into the water. Here I'm using pink. So it's a very beautiful color. Next I will show you how to cut the straw. First you need to mix it well. Now I will show you how to cut the straw. Take the straw and you need to make a cut at one third of its length. Make sure you do not cut the entire width. Just a small slit is enough. So now you can see that the straw bends. So here the straw, I made an incision, now the straw is bent. Now when you blow, I'm telling you to blow, you do not have to suck it in, you have to blow. Listen carefully to the sound. Can you hear the whistling sound? The sound changes as the straw is immersed in the water. So, are you interested in knowing why this happens? This is because there is air around us and when air vibrates, you hear this sound, the sound of the vibration of air molecules. Now when the straw is immersed in water, the amount of air molecules present is less, causing a difference in frequency of the sound that we hear. So now I'll do it once again. So did you notice the difference in sound? It is somewhat like a whistle. As the straw gets immersed deeper in the water, the number of air molecules present for vibration becomes less. So there is a change in the frequency of the sound that we hear. So did you have fun with this experiment? It's a very simple one. What did we do? We filled our glass with water. Here I used colored water. And then we cut our straw and bent it. Why did we do that? This is because we need air to vibrate. The air molecules need to vibrate. So now when I blow into it, the air molecules vibrate and we hear a sound because as we go deeper, the number of air molecules available for vibration becomes less. Pretty cool experiment, isn't it?